So hi guys, let's discuss a case that I saw today. So this was a child uh, who was brought by his parents saying that he has profuse bleeding from uh, his umbilical cord stump as soon as it is separated and it's not stopping. So as usual, it was a bleeding case. So we did PT, APTT. TT and fibrinogen levels. So his PT was normal, his APTT was normal, his thrombin time was normal, his fibrinogen levels were normal. Everything was coming up normal. But we also do one more test, which is called as urea clot solubility test, and this is what it showed. So what are you seeing here? So look at this tube. So this is my right and this is my left. So the tube on the left, you can see that the clot is intact. So what do you do? You take a, you let the blood clot and you put it in this urea solution. And what do you do is you see if the clot gets solubilized or not. So you can see here the clot is not getting solubilized. So that means this is a normal control patient. So this no, normal control person. Okay. So look at this tube here. What do you see here? The clot has solubilized. So you again put the blood of the patient you make it clot and you put it in the urea solution but what are you seeing the clot has solubilized in this tube so whenever you see that the clot is solubilized okay that is urea clot solubility test is positive this is very characteristic of factor 13 deficiency remember factor 13 is a factor which works after the fibrin is formed so factor 13 helps in the cross linking of the fibrin so this is very very important so whenever a patient has factor 13 deficiency remember these points always patient is going to bleed okay but his pt and aptt counts are going to come normal okay his fibrinogen will be normal his tt will be normal okay so whenever every coagulation screen is coming normal still still the patient is bleeding and the platelet count is also normal always think of factor 13 deficiency and do this urea clot solubility test although this is not a very uh, sensitive test but yes it will give you a very good clue that a patient has factor 13 deficiency or not so this test is called urea clot solubility test this test is done for factor 13 deficiency is factor 13 deficiency a bleeder yes they are bleeders so remember always so factor 13 always works after the clot is formed so keep it that in your brain always so guys remember this is urea clot solubility test which you typically do for factor 13 bye